Disease with Digital Dexterity, a presentation on early heart disease detection with AI-powered wearables. Heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, despite being one of the most preventable conditions. This is because many people find out that this deadly condition affects them after a stroke or heart attack, not before. The most common types of heart disease specific to the heart are coronary heart disease, cardiomyopathy, pulmonary heart disease, cardiac arrhythmias, valvular heart disease, hypertension or high blood pressure, and various other types related to the peripheral or cerebral arteries. According to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular disease accounts for 43% of deaths caused by non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases, or NCDs, are those chronic diseases that occur in humans somewhat naturally, such as cancer or diabetes. And NCDs themselves account for over 70% of global deaths annually, putting the total amount of global deaths from heart disease at 30% which was approximately 17.9 million global deaths last year, asymmetrically targeting those in low- and middle-income countries the most. Most CVDs are preventable through lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes such as increasing your physical activity, eating a healthier diet, quitting smoking and drinking, and aiming to lose as much as 5-10% to of your body fat can greatly increase your heart health and prevent cardiovascular disease. And it, is, uh, it was determined by the WHO that some 90% of all CVD deaths might have been prevented through these cautionary actions. As we grow and grow to be a more health conscious uh, community globally, many people have taken to technology such as Fitbits and wearable devices that can help monitor their own health. These fitness devices can help the average person monitor their vitals and lifestyles by measuring heart rate, steps taken throughout the day, calories burnt from exercising, sleeping patterns, oxygen levels in blood, and that's just to name a few. With the addition of some relatively simple sensors, a person is able to greatly increase their understanding of their own body and how they can make subtle changes to help their life. Now I'd like to take a second to swap gears and discuss the applications of AI in the medical field. Even with the revolution of wearable fitness trackers, the effect it has on the global health consciousness of the public, there is always room for improvement. The improvement has come in the form of AI integration. So what is AI? AI is artificial intelligence. Of this idea of artificial intelligence, it's that machines can replicate humans and act and think on their own. An idea from sci-fi itself brought to life, and in 2023, we see this type of technology in so many different applications. AI is an overarching branch, and the most common implementation of AI is called machine learning. Machine learning techniques are generally in the form of neural networks. There are many different types of neural networks. Here on the right, I've shown a neural network that has 784 neuron inputs each representing a pixel of a hand-drawn 2, which is flattened from a 28 by 28 pixel image to 784. And eventually, this is fed through a well-trained neural network and is led out to a 10 output neuron categorization later, layer. And as you can see here, the third neuron, representing a 2, is highlighted by the network. This is the most basic type of network which uses a multi-layer perceptron and uses the MNIST database, which is a database of thousands, if not millions, of hand-drawn digits to train a neural network to recognize handwritten digits. If you've ever used a mobile checking deposit, you've used this technology. Now, Artificial intelligence has many different types of neural networks and can be implemented depending on the application. For example, convolutional neural networks are another type of neural network different from multilayer perceptrons, and they use computer vision techniques to filter certain aspects of an image to highlight sections based on decidedly important criteria using a mathematical operation called a convolution. Deep learning, another neural network technique, uses many, many hidden interconnected layers to create highly accurate and precise neural network layers. 
The more advanced the network, however, the more training it requires and the more computational power required for training. But training need only occur in a single place at a single time. A trained neural network with the given parameters of that network extracted, such as its weights and biases, can be implemented onto edge devices, such as microcontrollers for robotics, microprocessors, such as the Google Pixel's Tensor chip, and even FPGAs, which are a type of computer electronic that has applications in the fields of such things as self-driving vehicles due to its efficiency. These relatively cheap devices can implement very advanced neural networks without the heavy computational requirements. Many of these artificial intelligent AI can either be shrunken down to smaller networks to fit storage requirements, or send the signals themselves to clouds platforms and do processing from that platform. And if we look at the wearable sensors that we have mentioned before, we can see applications in artificial intelligence. Now, today, top manufacturers of fitness wearables have begun implementation of AI-based search methods in their devices to assess difficult-to-diagnose medical conditions related to cardiovascular diseases. There are five main groups, the first being arrhythmias, then coronary artery disease, heart failure in general, hypertension, and valvular heart disease. We'll take a look at arrhythmia to start. Arrhythmias, such as atrial fibrillation, are exceptionally hard to diagnose as it is difficult for medical professionals to determine the degree of irregularity given a single electrocardiogram, or ECG. Fitbit has recently implemented AI into its heart monitoring to analyze a mini series of ECGs and determine if a user suffers from AFib. This is a massive win for Fitbit users and hidden sufferers of arrhythmias, as the FDA has approved the usage of this technology for medical diagnosis this year. Let's take a look at coronary artery disease and how we can use AI to detect that. AI can be used to detect coronary artery disease as well, which is the leading cause in stroke and heart attack in many, in many adults. Here we see an image depicting coronary artery disease. And what it is is it's plaque that builds up in the arteries and blocks blood flow. Now, traditional methodology of determining coronary arter artery disease can be rather invasive, as cardiac CT scans, cardiac MRIs, and even some pathological analysis are all traditional methods for determining artery disease. However, artificial intelligence can be used to take common measurements such as blood pressure, oxygen levels, and ECGs, and when applied to some deep learning network trained with millions of clinical data points can be deterministic of a likely sufferer of coronary artery disease. Now we'll take a, a look at heart failure and hypertension. Heart failure is typically categorized to systolic and diastolic. Systolic meaning to contract and diastolic meaning to relax. Heart failure is a very broad category, but most of the previously described methodology of taking the measurements from oxygen levels, uh, heart rate, ECGs, and even um, sleeping patterns can be used to determine uh, heart failure or likely heart failure. Additionally, magnetocardiography can be used with AI, albeit we're leaving the realm of wearable devices now as magnetocardiography requires a user to essentially enter a massive magnetic field and then take measurements from there. Similarly, hypertension or high blood pressure can, use, can be used with AI with clinical data points to diagnose the likelihood that a wearer suffers from hypertension, as we can literally get heart rate measurements and blood pressure measurements on the fly. Valvular heart disease is the final disease of cardiovascular diseases that we can determine with AI. Valvular heart disease is a very serious heart condition where one or more of the heart valves does not work properly. 
Symptoms of BHD is de- in decreasing frequency include shortness of breath, chest pain and palpitations, and syncope or near syncope. The disease is typically diagnosed through echocardiography and algorithmically determined based on symptoms and severity. AI can be used to process heart sounds and detect changes that indicate the presence of valvular heart disease and help a sufferer to get treatment or counseling before experiencing advanced symptoms or going through heart, lung, kidney, or neurological failures. In conclusion, AI is an increasingly useful tool and has exploded in its field. With the amount of research and development of new AI-based products and technologies, people are being helped around the globe in ways that were never foreseeable even a decade ago. In today's world, new technology is developed every day to help people, and before we know it, virtual assistants will be used in the medical field instead of medical practitioners themselves to help deal with shortages and prevent medical practitioners from developing diseases from being in contact with patients. Here's a list of references for this presentation. And if you have any issues or complaints or concerns or any questions, please feel free to reach out in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe.